Guys, I'm at the Maxwell Chapel United Methodist Church Cemetery here in uh, Winston County, Alabama. And um, I am here for the grave of Pat Buttram. Who is Pat Buttram, you ask? Uh, he was an actor. He was actually born here in um, uh, Win Winton County, Alabama, 1915. And he was a, uh, he was an actor. Became pretty well known uh, as an actor. And uh, most people would probably recognize him uh, from his voice. He did a lot of, a lot of different characters, a lot of different Disney characters. He really became one of the best known uh, comic entertainers. And uh, he was probably best, best, best known or at least when I first came exposed to him, was uh, when he played um, uh, Mr. Haney on the CBS show uh, Green Acres with Eddie Albert and Ava Gabor that aired in late 19, or, you know, late 1960s into the, into the 70s. And, um, uh, but before that, uh, you know, he was, he was like I said, born here in this area, and he was one of seven children with a traveling... Uh, uh, father is a traveling preacher and uh, he graduated here from a, a local school here in Alabama uh, he t attended uh, Southern um, uh, College in Birmingham and then he uh, he got into some radio and he traveled to Hollywood California in the 1940s to become a sidekick to uh, to Roy Rogers and I think everybody knows Roy Rogers uh, however, since Roy Rogers already had a couple sidekicks in his show, he uh, he moved on to uh, uh, pick, be picked up by Gene Aubrey, uh, who had recently returned from service in World War II. And uh, so that's how he kind of got to start in Hollywood, kind of being a sidekick to those to those gentlemen. Um, he lent his voice work. And I mean, he. This is where, you know, besides Mr. Haney on, on um, Green Acres, his voice work is where I am most familiar with him. Um, he did uh, Aristocats in 1970 as Napoleon. Uh, he was a hound dog. Uh, he did uh, uh, Robin Hood as Shishari of Nottingham, and that's uh, my sister watched that video every weekend. It seemed like over and over and over and over again. He was in the Foxes, Fox and the Hound, again as a hunting dog chief, and he was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit uh, as bullet number one. If the bullets, you know, they were animated bullets, they could talk and whatnot. He had a recurring voice on Cactus Jack uh, on the animated television series uh, Garfield and Friends in the uh, late 80s or into the early 90s. You know, one of his last roles was... Uh, in Back to the Far Back to the Future, uh, Part uh, Three, and then his final voice work was uh, a Goofy movie, uh, 1995, that was released a year after his death. So here we are at the grave, and kind of elevated little bed here. Pat Buttram, a man deserves paradise. Whoops, a man deserves paradise who can make his companions laugh. We got a jar there. We'll pick that up. There we go. There we go. Walk around here. Maxwell Emmett Buttram Pat, 1915 to 1994. And then uh, beyond this one, we can get over to his parents here. We'll walk over there and we'll swing back to, to Pat's grave here in a second, though. Unfortunately, it's a windstorm must have come through there. So there's his, uh, there's his father, passed away in 1963. I'm sure this is the church he probably ministered at. I said priest, but minister. Uh, Reverend Wilson McDowell, McDowell. And then you got uh, the wife. And then we got some kids, children here. These be uh, relative. These be uh, sisters. Rebecca Buttram. 
Peggy, that would be uh, Pat's sister. And then a, a young child son, 1918 to 1920, only made it two years um, before he passed away. Must have had some wind come through or something like that because the uh, everything's uh, everything's good and tipped over here. So we'll, we'll do our best to get those put back. Yeah, like I said, I was Green Acres. That's kind of where I knew him. Well, that one's broken a little bit. Uh, Pat. But then, uh, obviously, the Fox and the Hound cause my, and uh, Robin Hood. Cause my sister watched them all the time. This movie, I think that had Polly Shore as the primary voice in that one as well. So, there we go. Comedic, uh, comedic genius here from Alabama. Returned to be buried here in Alabama. Buried with his, uh, his parents and his siblings. And uh, like I said, lent his voice to a lot of great, famous characters from uh, from uh, a lot of the cartoons back in the early 80s, late 70s. That much one, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I post four or five times a month, usually just cemetery videos, uh, the Goonies content, as well as just my travels, exploring, etc. So uh, if you take a few seconds, and just uh, hit that little subscribe button. That would be great. Uh, so you don't miss anything coming up. And in the meantime, here's a few more uh, fun videos that I hope you'll enjoy.